First this afternoon, a 23-year-old woman has been charged in the deadly shooting of a man at a Middleton car dealership Monday afternoon. We're learning new details about the alleged shooter and just what happened at that dealership. Braden Ross joining us now with more with the latest information. Braden? Yeah, 23-year-old Jakira Anderson is charged with first-degree intentional homicide and you... Jakira Anderson, man. Now, everybody put their sun caps on. Hit one if you put your sun cap on. Because in order to understand this, you're going to have to put your sun cap on. In school, the teachers say, put your, put your thinking cap on. Everybody put your sun caps on. Okay? And try to see it from her eyes. Try to see it from her eyes. I'm not saying that you're going to understand it, but I think this will be a good test. Just try to see it from her eyes. She's a son. The DNA is there. There's nothing she can do about it. Oh, with more with the latest information, Braden. Yeah, 23-year-old Jakira Anderson is charged with first-degree intentional homicide and use of a dangerous weapon. She doesn't have a criminal history before this in Wisconsin or Illinois. A judge set Anderson's bail at $1 million after hearing an emotional statement from the victim's pregnant wife. Your Honor, if you may give me a minute to speak, I don't think Jakira deserves to be bailed. She doesn't deserve it. Court records say Anderson had been in a dispute at the dealership over a car she had leased from them. The victim asked her to leave. Anderson says it got physical, and police say she shot him. Anderson told police the shooting was in self-defense and that she didn't mean to kill him. And we reported yesterday the victim was a... Okay. He asked her to leave. It turned physical. Who do you think turned physical? Do you think the guy... The car dealer punched the black woman, or do you think the black woman punched the car dealer? I oh, think it was security definitely guard her. Got physical. It was, it was definitely, definitely her. her. <laughs> you don't think the car dealer said, "What, well, bitch?" Pow! But you know that's what car dealers do. You know, you never went and bought a car before. Well, how car dealers do that is they get you to sign the paperwork. Nah, they just sock you in your face, man. <laughs> that happens all the time, man. Hey, where you been at, man? We've been living under a rock. Go buy a car tomorrow. I bet you come back with a black eye. And I do deserve it. Court records say Anderson had been in a dispute at the dealership over a car she had leased from them. The victim asked her to leave. Anderson says it got physical, and police say she shot him. Anderson told police the shooting was in self-defense and that she didn't mean to kill him. And we reported yesterday the victim was a beloved member of Madison's Gambian community. A preliminary hearing in the case is set for next week. And we'll keep bringing you updates in this case as we get them right here on News 3 Now and on Channel3000.com. Someone accused of shooting and killing a man at a it's car a dealership is now charged community? with homicide. The shooting happened Monday in Middleton. Just said Gambian community. Yeah, Gambia, West Africa. Yeah, that makes me think it could have been <laughs> physical started by him. Oh, you think he was like women in my country do not talk like this? Pow. Maybe. That's what I'm saying. Maybe. He may maybe. have pushed her first, and then, oh, then she pulls out the gun. Like, not uh, outright hit, but maybe pushed back. Like, no, we don't do that. Maybe. Maybe. The shooting happened Monday in Middleton, just outside of Madison. According to a criminal complaint, an employee said his co-worker had been dealing with an angry customer and told her to leave. The complaint says Jakira Anderson got into an argument with a salesman over a car she leased from the dealership. The complaint says she told officers the salesman pushed her, got aggressive, and told her to leave, and that she shot him in self-defense. Police arrested her at an apartment shortly after. She's being held on $1 million bond.
Yeah, it was shocking. So he pushed her. And listen, these are the same people that say a cop, you know, a cop, there's no justification. So what? He punched you. So what? He, he took your taser and tased you with it. That doesn't constitute deadly force. Push one of them. I'm going to accuse you. <laughs> push one of them. I dare you. I dare you to push one of them. See where, where you end up at. What I'm going through right now, and no one in your family deserves the pain I'm going through, but I believe you were not meant to be in this world. It was an emotional day in Dane County Court today, as we heard from the family of a Middleton murder victim. On Monday, 34-year-old Kasu Samba, who was an employee at MSI Auto Sales in Middleton, was shot and killed while on the job. Police say the shooting happened following a dispute over a vehicle that had recently been leased from the company. Today, the judge set a $1 million cash bond for the suspect, 23-year-old Jakira Anderson. She's charged with first-degree intentional homicide by use of a dangerous weapon. News 3 Now's Braden Ross has more from today's emotional hearing. That's right. In court today, we learned a lot more about what exactly happened in that dealership, and we heard from those most impacted by Samba's death. You didn't only kill my husband. You murdered me, too. A heartbroken wife speaks in Dane County Court. He was the only one I had, and here I am right now. All I have is my unborn child. Remembering her husband, Kausu Samba, shot dead at 34. The woman accused of shooting and killing him. So, what do you think, man? You think this guy, he started it, man. He shouldn't have um, pushed her. And we're taking her word for it. Let's just say he did push her. We don't know, but she said he pushed him. Did he deserve, did, is that a death sentence, man, pushing somebody? Well, I can see her getting up in his face about something and him pushing her back. And she takes that as an attack. But you also it's have not to remember. Self-defense. Well, remember, Johnny, she's already been told to leave. So right there, man, I think that was more of a capital offense than pushing her. I think the capital offense was telling her to leave. Well, and that's what that's what got her anger and up into his face. And then the pushing was the straw that broke the camel's back. Then the gun comes out. Somebody says she's unstable. I don't think this woman was un, is unstable. You, she, he, he told a son person to leave somewhere. I think that some person could be perfectly. I mean, it's perfectly and he didn't free. have the he didn't have the energy to say leave before you die kind of energy. He had the I'm a salesman energy. Dusamba shot dead at 34. The woman accused of shooting and killing him at a Middleton car dealership is charged with first-degree homicide. This defendant, as the complaint shows, is alleged to have uh, shot someone essentially at point-blank range uh, in the chest over what I think even generously to her could be considered a minor customer service dispute at an auto dealership. Court records allege Jakira Anderson went to the dealership Monday afternoon to complain about a car she had leased from them. She told officers she got in an argument with Samba, who worked at the dealership. She says Samba started trying to push her out of the store. That's when police say she shot him. According to court documents, Anderson told police, quote, I wasn't trying to kill him, just scare away, and I didn't think I was going to hit him. The entire incident from start to finish. Isn't that the same thing the sister said who killed her husband? I I I mean to shoot him. Yeah, didn't, mean to didn't, do it. didn't she uh, eject a magazine and didn't realize there was one in the chamber and pointed it at him and like oh, allegedly trying to scare him? Allegedly. I 
I'm looking at all these neck tattoos. I'm not talking about one to two neck tattoos. We're talking about one, two, three, four. Two face tattoos. Teardrops under the eye. We're talking about a gang member. This sister's a gang member. She's sane, though. She's not unstable because she's a gang member. She's perfectly sane. Is she a... Is she a, one of the gun library holders? Yeah, she's from the. She is. Yeah, she definitely puts some people on the gun memorial or knows a bunch of people. Well, Samba, well, I was saying, who at holds the, the guns and hands them out to the, the the shooters so that they, you know, they don't have to have it with them all the time. Just holds the gun for them, basically. I mean, she holds the gun herself. You see that? She. she I mean, look, man. She doing her own. She does. She she got it under control herself. Man. She told well, officers right she got in an argument hits. with Samba, who worked at the dealership. She says Samba started trying to push her out of the store. That's when police say she shot him. According to court documents, Anderson told police, "quote I wasn't trying to kill him, just scare away, and I didn't think I was going to hit him." The entire incident, from start to finish, was captured on video. Um, there's going to be no doubt about what happened that trial and that she she didn't, in fact, pull the trigger of that gun and, and shoot this person. The shooting has left Madison's Gambian and Islamic communities grieving the loss of a man they say was kind, family-oriented, and brilliant. A family member telling us in a statement he had helped many young people in Madison and his soccer club in Milwaukee commemorating him with this post, saying his positive vibes made their team better on and off the field. And in court today, the judge noted more than 30 people had showed up virtually to listen. A preliminary hearing in this case has been set for next Friday. We'll keep you updated on the latest developments online at channel3000.com and right here on News 3 Now.